Hi, my name is Bill Giles, and I'm a ranger here at Hoffel Broadfield Plantation Historic Site in Brunswick. And today, I would like to show you some items located in the 1850s era walnut wardrobe, which is located in the downstairs bedroom of our plantation house here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you from the wardrobe here is some historic antique firearms. This is an 1873 Winchester rifle. It's a lever action 44 caliber, one of the early repeating firearms in American history. And this model firearm is one of the most famous in American history. Uh, it was known as the gun that won the West. And if you've ever seen a Western film, you've probably seen one of these guns. Uh, in fact, there was a 1950 movie starring James Stewart, which was named Winchester 73 after this model of gun. Another firearm that we have here is an 1886 Winchester rifle. This is a 45 caliber that shoots a 45 caliber 90 grain shell. And I will show you one of those shells to see how big it is. Uh, this is a big game firearm, uh, could have been used for buffalo hunting. And an interesting thing about these firearms is that they are associated with the Wild West history, or what we think of as the Wild West history of our nation, and that's a, exactly where these came from. Gratz Dent, one of the family members of the early plantation owners, uh, graduated from Yale in the early 1900s. Then after his graduation, he moved to Texas and helped manage a ranch near El Paso. And that's where he purchased these firearms and ended up bringing them back here when he moved back to Georgia. Another thing that we have in here, this is a leather gun belt that Gratz purchased also while he was in El Paso. Uh, it was for um, a 45 caliber pistol that we no longer have in our collection, um, but it's marked Shelton Payne Firearms, El Paso, Texas. A few other interesting things in the wardrobe are some Civil War era swords. This one we think was probably uh, the uniform sword of George Dent, who was a captain in the Confederate Army during the Civil War um, and brought back here after the war was over. The other sword that we have, we're not sure exactly why we have it, but it is stamped U.S. 1865. So it was made for the Union Army near the close of the Civil War, but we're not sure why we have it. Perhaps one of the family members, as he returned home from the war, uh, picked it up on a roadside or something like that. Some other things in the closet here. This is a gold-headed walking stick, this ornately engraved uh, to Solomon Cohen for 50 years of service to the congregation Mikveh Israel in Savannah. Solomon Cohen was the grandfather of the last generation of plantation owners here, and he was Jewish, and this is from the synagogue in Savannah. Uh, that they presented to him in 1874, just prior to his passing away. A few other things here are some golf clubs. Ophelia Dent, the last person who owned the plantation house here, she uh, was very interested in sports, one of which was golf. And these are some hickory-handled golf clubs which date to the early 1900s. And there are three or four of those here in the wardrobe. Um, another thing in the wardrobe here, if you see this picture of this African-American gentleman here, his name is Rudolph Capers, and he was a descendant of uh, some of the enslaved people who worked here during the early plantation days before the emancipation of the slaves after the end of the Civil War. Uh, but Rudolph was a descendant of some of those people, and in the 1930s, he was hired to be the butler here. And he held that position 
until Ophelia Dent's death in 1973. And after her death, she, made, she left the property here to the state of Georgia to be operated as a historic site. And she made provision in her will that Rudolph would be able to continue to work here as long as he wanted to. And Rudolph actually worked here for the state of Georgia until he passed away in 1982. And a lot of the information that we have uh, that we pass on to visitors on a daily basis came from Mr. Capers uh, in those early days of our operations as a historic site. And these uh, white uh, items of clothing were things that he wore during his time as butler here. This is a white butler's jacket and also this white apron here uh, that Mr. Capers wore when he was during the 40 years or so that he was Ophelia Dent's butler. There are a lot of other things in here that I won't be able to show you today, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this look uh, inside uh, this antique wardrobe here at Hoffel Broadfield Plantation, and I thank you for watching.